Justin Timberlake was arrested early Tuesday in Sag Harbor, New York, and charged with driving while intoxicated, authorities said. Timberlake, 43, was driving a 2025 BMW when an officer observed him run a stop sign and then failed to stay in his lane on two occasions, the Sag Harbor Police Department said in statement Tuesday. The officer initiated a traffic stop and determined Timberlake was driving in an intoxicated condition, police said. In a complaint, an officer said Timberlake's eyes were bloodshot and glassy, a strong odor of an alcoholic beverage was emanating from his breath, he was unable to divide attention, he had slowed speech, he was unsteady afoot, and he performed poorly on all standardized field sobriety tests. The sexy back singer told officers, I had one martini and followed my friends home, Sag Harbor police wrote in the complaint. The singer was placed under arrest and held overnight. Timberlake was arraigned on at least one DWI charge on Tuesday morning, a Sag Harbor court spokesperson and a Suffolk County District Attorney's Office spokesperson confirmed to NBC News. After the arraignment, Timberlake was released on his own recognizance, according to police. A representative for Timberlake did not immediately respond to a request for comment from NBC News. Timberlake ate at the American Hotel in Sag Harbor on Monday evening and then was headed to a friend's home when he was pulled over by police, a source close to the star told NBC News. Sag Harbor is a town in the Hamptons, a collection of beach hamlets on Long Island about 100 miles east of New York City. Timberlake released his latest album, Everything I Thought It Was, in March, and began his Forget Tomorrow World Tour in April in Vancouver, Canada. The pop star and father of two's last show was in Miami on June 15, and his next performance was set for June 21 in Chicago. Timberlake's tour dates were scheduled through December and featured appearances in North America and Europe.